Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, cross doll doll condensation lecture number 2. In this lecture we are discussing about so how many types of uh, carbonyl compounds will use the cross doll doll products. Uh, so which type of products will give the more number of cross doll doll reactions like more number of crossed products or like a um, similar self condensation products okay self condensation products is nothing but all done so crossed condensation is nothing but cross doll doll products now if you will take the different types of carbonyl compounds how many types of products will produce okay let us take the a simple diagram based on that we will discuss the cross doll doll condensation types cross doll doll condensation okay now so generally cross doll doll products are uh, cross doll doll condensation means condensation between the two different types of carbonyl compounds two different types of uh, carbonyl compounds we are already classified this in previous lecture also okay so the cross doll doll condensation means that if both are aldehyde both are aldehyde now here both are ketone now here one is aldehyde another one is ketone one is aldehyde and another one is ketone okay now in this case both aldehyde second case both are ketones third case one is aldehyde another one is ketone okay again in in case of all all reactions carbonyl compounds again classified into two types one is alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compounds another one is without alpha hydrogen containing compounds why because so aldol condensation minimum requirement is alpha hydrogen minimum requirement is alpha hydrogen now here again it takes two types one is alpha hydrogen both are both having alpha hydrogen here both uh, one is one having alpha another not another one is no without alpha another is without alpha without uh, alpha now here both are ketones so ketones are uh, poor carbonyl acceptors we are uh, already discussed in one previous lectures so due to the pure uh, acceptor capacity it is rarely attempted it is rarely attempted okay now in case of aldehyde and ketones if both are uh, having the carbonyl compounds and that means uh, both having alpha hydrogen here ketone having the alpha hydrogen and aldehyde without alpha without alpha so now here ketone with alpha hydrogen now aldehyde without alpha hydrogen aldehyde without alpha hydrogen so now here in this in this uh, diagram which tells so five types of cross doll reactions we observed okay now in case uh, the first one is a uh, first one second one third one okay now in this first we are also classified one and second so now here first and second Okay, so let us discuss it one by one very clearly. Okay, the first one is both aldehydes having the carbonyl compounds. Both aldehydes having the carbonyl compounds. Okay, the first one. Now let us take the another example. So sorry, let us take the first example, which is nothing but a CH3, CH2, CH double bond OH. So which is aldehyde, aldehyde is nothing but we know that. So carbonyl compounds. So generally both are aldehydes, then it is formaldehyde. At least one al one hydrogen is present, so then it is aldehyde other than formaldehyde. So if both are alkylated groups, that means both are substituents, then it's said to be ketones. Okay. Now both are alkyl substitution, then it is called ketones. Now here one hydrogen is present, that's why it is called as aldol. So whenever which is treated with a diluted KOH, diluted KOH, now it gives how many types of products? Let us assume. So now here it is aldehyde. So aldehydes are uh, easily reacted with a uh, uh, diluted base, then it gives self condensation. Now here it gives a self condensation. So now it is also gives a self condensation. Self condensation means which is nothing but all down product. Now here, so it one one product of the self condensation in first aldehyde, second self condensation product with a second aldehyde. Okay. Now let us take the crossed products. Let us take the crossed products. So the first crossed product means now if proton abstraction takes place first one, so the second one is a uh, carbonyl acceptor. Second one is a carbonyl acceptor. With the trick we will write the very clear manner. CH three CH two. So this is a double bond O here H 
Now the second one is here proton obstruction takes place that means here two hydrogens. So this is the aldehyde. So first one is the uh, pro first one, first hydrogen eliminated with the help of base. The second one is eliminated with the beta hydration. Okay, beta dehydration. Now we will get the two alpha carbon carbon single bond. Now here carbon carbon single bond which is nothing but a alpha beta unsaturated one. Alpha beta unsaturated one. So whenever the first aldehyde acts as a carbonyl, second aldehyde acts as electron pair, carbonyl acceptor, carbonyl acceptor. Now it is first type of a product. Okay, so now it gives the first product. Now in in the reverse case, that means here it is carbonyl carbonyl formation. It is carbonyl acceptor. Now what will happen here? CH two, C double bond OH here CH three. Here two hydrogens. Here the CH three. C double bond O H. That means uh, here the carbonyl carbon carbon double bond is formed. Carbon carbon double bond is formed. So this is the second carboxyl product. This is the second carboxyl product. So now in this case here it undergoes the self condensation. Then it gives the C H three C double bond O H. Now here H H H H, -H, -H C double bond O H. Then it forms the double bond. Then it forms the double bond. Then it is called third self condensation product. This is the third product now here so which is also undergoing the self condensation which, which gives the this type of product two hydrogens now here ch3 ch2 like here ch3 ch2 c double bond o here it is the c double bond oh now here it forms the double bond between the carbon carbon atom okay now it is a second self product so now we will discuss in both aldehydes having the alpha hydrogens. Now we will get the four types of cross aldol products. Four types of a product, not cross aldol or not cross aldol. So now we will get the four types of cross aldol. Okay, sorry, I did a mistake again. So here it gives the four types of product. So now the first and second are cross aldol product. First and the second are cross aldol product. In this case, third and fourth are self condensation. Third and fourth are self condensation. So here, if both aldehydes having the uh, alpha hydrogen, now it will give the four types of product. Now it will give the four types of products. Those two are cross aldol, two are self condensation product. However, the finally, the final thing is now here it gives the four types of product in a single reaction. It is very difficult to monitor it. Okay. So however, it is monitored in, uh, with the techniques, but uh, it is less used in our laboratory method our laboratory method okay so so much so much time rest on this it's not rest it is very helpful to knowing the each and every point very clearly okay let us go with the second one <coughs> that means if both are having the alpha hydrogen. So in this case, second one, one is having the alpha hydrogen, another one is not having the alpha hydrogen. So here all are all alkyl group, that means there is no alpha hydrogen. Now here one having the alpha hydrogen. So in this case, we will get uh, how many types of products. So here there is no proton abstraction, that's why here there, there is no possibility to form the carbonyl. Okay, carbonyl not formed in this uh, first reactant molecule, but here only forms the carbonyl. So now what we observed in the crossed product, here it is carbonyl, then it forms the CH2 minus. So in tick manner, here hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. This is the double bond of the second one, hydrogen, CR3, CR3. Then it forms the carbon carbon double bond throughout the aldol product, then it gives the crossed aldol product cross aldol product. So in case it gives the only one cross aldol product, the second one is not possible. Why? Because the second one does not have the alpha hydrogen. But uh, second one does not undergo the self condensation also. So sorry, first one does not undergo the self condensation also. But uh, second one can undergo the self condensation. Then it gives the CH3, CH double bond CH. So C double bond OH. So let us check uh, with the help of uh, Trick. Okay, I'll write the direct manner. Okay, now here it gives two types of products. Two types of products. Finally, we'll write the again the uh, starting uh, graph. Again, I'll give the which type of uh, reactants will give the how many types of product. Don't worry. Okay, now one is alpha hydrogen, one is without alpha hydrogen. We will get the two types of products. Let us discuss. 
second one that is both are ketones. Okay, let, let us discuss both are ketones. Okay, so ketones are we are already say, say that ketones are less that means a poor poor carbinian acceptors carbinian acceptors so that means uh, it it does not undergo the self condensation again it does not undergo the self condensation now but it also undergo the another nucleophile so both are ke both are ketones that's why it cannot undergo the second one okay but it gives the some of the product but it rarely used rarely attempted in rarely attempted in laboratory methods laboratory methods so we are already synthesized rarely we, uh, we are synthesized rarely that means uh, no use for the discussing about it okay now let's go with the third one third one means one is aldehyde another one is ketone third one one is aldehyde another one is ketone so third first one is aldehyde both ketones having the alpha hydrogens so now we have discussed in earlier uh, mechanism class so this is the example we have to take in, in the uh, first lecture on called uh, cross order condensation okay so now we will get the crossed product so that means uh, if it acts as a carbonion it acts as a electrophilic uh, acceptor so now here so if it acts as it does not act as carbonion acceptor does not act as carbonion acceptor that means it is only carbonion acceptor carbonion acceptor so le left side we will write the carbonion acceptor right side we will write the uh, <coughs> carbonion attacker that means uh, carbonion formation product carbonion formation reactant not product okay now we will get the product this is the carbon carbon double bond now we will get the one cross dual product one cross dual product if one is aldehyde another one is keto now again it undergoes the self condensation then it gives the ch3 ch double bond ch3 double bond oh so again one both having the alpha hydrogens it gives two products only it gives two products why because here it does not undergo the self condensation here it undergoes the self condensation it gives the only one pro only one cross dual dial product second one does not undergoes the cross dual dial why because ketones are less reactive to accept the l carbonion uh, carbonion nucleophiles carbonion nucleophiles now let us go with the final one in 3 2 if both aldehyde ketone having the alpha hydrogens we will get the two types of products we will get the two types of products now the final one is so both uh, ketone having the carbonion plus uh, aldehyde without alpha aldehyde without uh, alpha now we will get how many types of product so let us take the example acetone so this is the benzaldehyde so here there is no alpha hydrogen there is no alpha hydrogen okay sorry there is no alpha hydrogen now we will get uh, with the help of diluted base so now we will get CH double bond CH C double bond O CH3 C double bond O CH3. So this is the product which are used in the ketone and aldehyde. So aldehyde having the without alpha hydrogen. Aldehyde having the without alpha hydrogen. But ketone have to form the uh, carbonion with the help of diluted base. So ketone does not accept the protons, but it can act, uh, act as a nucleophile. But it can act as the nucleophile. So that's why we will get the product uh, in one manner. Now we will get the product in this manner. So it does not undergo the Canizaro reaction. Canizaro reaction. Why? Because so with the help of diluted base, Canizaro reaction is much slower, slower than aldehyde. Canizaro reaction slower than aldol condensation in presence of uh, diluted base in presence of 
diluted no, no this point very clearly okay so here without alpha hydrogens carbonyl compounds will undergo the canizaro reaction does not undergo the aldal or crossed aldal but here so crossed uh, canizaro reaction which is uh, very slower than that of uh, aldal condensation now we will get only aldal products does not absorb the canizaro products does not absorb the canizaro products so it is only act as carbonyl now we will get the only one product now we will get the only one product now here it is also possible the self condensation but uh, so uh, uh, ketone does not having the much more capacity to accept the carbonyl that's why self condensation also not observed in this case okay let us take the uh, another so applications of this example we will discuss in the previous je mains as well as jam question so this question came in both the jam as well as je mains now here like uh, it is the aldehyde here it is the Aldehyde. So, which is belongs to which type? Now, here there is no alpha hydrogen. Now, here it is only one alpha hydrogen. Only one alpha hydrogen. That means here we will discuss the example in this case. It is alpha hydrogen with the help of KOH, diluted KOH. Now, we will get the product CH2OH, CH2 double bond CH2. Okay, this is the product. Now, again, I use the base. CH2OH as well as a CH here CH2OH here C double bond OH C double bond OH again third third mole we are also used CH that means here the another proton will also obstruct the uh, alpha hydrogen now we will get CH2OH C double bond H here CH2OH now we will get the CH2OH so here it undergoes the Three, three moles of aldol, three steps of aldol condensation. Now it is cross aldol. It is a cross aldol product. So whenever we will take the formaldehydes, so formaldehydes are more reactive. Formaldehydes are more reactive. That's why it undergoes complete ionization. That means uh, how many alpha hydrogens are there? So so the number of alpha hydrogens will give the number of aldol reaction with the help of formaldehyde. That, why? Because formaldehyde are very strong reactive position when compared to aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes and ketones. So the final thing is we will discuss the final one is of a starting diagram. Cross the product with having the both are aldehyde, both are aldehyde, both are ketone, aldehyde plus ketone, aldehyde plus ketone. So now here with alpha hydrogen, two are alpha hydrogen, one alpha, one without alpha. Okay. Now here both are ketones. Here also uh, alpha hydrogens so with both two are alpha hydrogens. Ketone alpha, aldehyde no alpha, aldehyde without alpha. Okay, so now here, if, if both are having the alpha hydrogens, now we will get the four types of products. Here, one is having the alpha hydrogen, another one does not having the alpha hydrogen, it will get the two types of product. One is crossed aldehyde, another one is self condensation. So, without alpha product, cannot undergo the self condensation. Okay, now here it is rarely attempted. So now in case of two types of alpha hydrogen, it also gives the two types of products we are already discussed in previous classes. Now it undergoes the only one type of product. The second is not, second is get the very lower percentage of yield. That's why we, we did not consider the another product of the uh, reaction. So the final thing is, however, this self condensation as well as cross doldal products gives the uh, like uh, two types of uh, products. Now the cross doldal products so let us take the A plus B, it will give the C plus D. So this is one is cross aldal, another one is a self condensation. So in is such type of reaction, cross aldal product uh, presented as a major, it, it will give the major product uh, when compared to the self one. So whenever if uh, to, if you having the competition between the cross and self, so cross aldal cross aldal product is a major. Whenever so we added the uh, aldehyde uh, that means uh, carbonium species with the help of uh, base with the help of a catalyst base we will get the crossed product as a measure okay now thank you for watching